everyone, I'm Granny Josie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a DIY on uh, jeweled hearts. Uh, if you remember ever seeing my jeweled Christmas tree on my wall uh, during the holidays, this is similar except I'm not going to put lights on it. So I will show you what I do. Uh, I won't finish it today, and then I'll do another video and show you the finishing, uh, well, finished one. What I did is I got felt, and you can do that any color, and I cut out the heart and glued that with tacky glue. Normally, I use the white Elmer's glue, and I don't have any more, but I used the tacky glue, and it glued down really well. Then I used the hot glue gun. Uh, for the, they're actually silver beads, see if you can see them. Um, you can use pearls, you can use rhinestones, you can use anything you want. So let's proceed and I will show you, let's go focus down here. What I did in my Christmas tree ones is I did the 3D effect, which means you usually put the pieces that are not as attractive. I like the rhinestones. So um, you put them down first, and then you can layer them and just put anything you want. And what I do, I don't like to see the background. I like to fill everything. So for the little tiny spots, you can use pearls or beads or just anything that you want. And I take the backs off. Now, let's see here. I should have done this. Oh, it came off. And see, it's flat. And I will... If you want them to dry fast, use the glue gun. Um, I did use the Elmer's on one of my Christmas trees, and it was fine. And glue that down like that. And, you know, when you first start, it doesn't look like very much. And all of a sudden, you can just... It, it, it's amazing. You will be amazed at when this is finished, how nice and really how attractive it will be. Right now, you're probably thinking, ooh, I don't know about that. But let's see if you can see that. Let's see, let's see if it will focus for you. And you just... Um, Kind of use your imagination. Like I'll put a little blue one. Let's see. Get down. Maybe a little blue one stone right here. I like to fill. I When I'm done, I don't like to see any of the fabric or the back. And you know when you use a glue gun, you're always going to burn yourself. At least I do. But you can just add to it. And I do need to get some planer backs to put down. And um, But you can just, you know, just use your imagination. And you can do this with any any form. I just happen to have the heart, so I decided to use the heart. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. see already and this whole thing is going to be full it does take a lot of jewelry that's why the craft lots really come in handy and here's what I'm putting in next and this perfect spot for it would be right here well I'll glue it and then maybe you can you see it better And I 
think I need another glue stick. I think these are fun. If you like crafts, you'll like something like this. If you don't, well, probably watching the wrong video. But see, already it's starting to. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, so many people buy the craft lots because they do things like this. Now on this one, yes, it's going to show some background, but all you have to do is like put, you know, different size. You can put pearls or different, different beads in there. I don't know. I just, I won't put that in right now. Let's. See about another blue one right there maybe some of these small stones are little that's one thing you can use the elmer's uh glue for the really tiny ones so you don't burn your fingers because i'm sure i will burn my fingers See that? Like I said, use your imagination and can you visualize that this is going to be completely covered? Now you will be able to see part of the purple, which I think makes it attractive. Let's see here. Maybe that one. And I cut the little ends off. Selena Lowe is going to do one too. We're kind of doing another series. So if you watch her channel, isn't that pretty? I think it is anyway. Hopefully you will. I would like to see a lot of people. Maybe we should make a challenge and see how many people would like to do something like this. Wouldn't that be fun? Because, you know, we all have different ideas, different imaginations. I think that would be fun. There's a lot of you out there that are so talented and so crafty. I'm sure you can do better than I do, but I have fun at it. I have fun at it. I know my Christmas tree uh, pictures I made. Oh, around eight, I think, eight to ten. And got a lot of compliments. A lot of people like them. And I kept two of mine and gave the rest away. Isn't that pretty? And let's see what we want to add. Now, I need to get some more of the ones that I want to put in the background also. Let's see, how about that right there? That might be, that might be pretty. And you know how glue is, you get strings all over. Oops, ouch. That didn't feel too good. There. I wanted to do enough of it in this video so you can kind of see, and then in a few days, I'll do the finishing one. And let's see, do we need a butterfly in there? I'm not sure. That might be kind of, oh, I need to take the back off. If you can see this, just take this and once in a while, we have a problem, but I also have other tools that I use, but okay, 
Ouch. Got my finger that time. This one's being really stubborn. Not sure I'm going to be able to get this one off. determined. Okay. As you can see, I'm very stubborn. And I might have to give up on this one. I have uh, other tools that I can get it off. So I think I'll leave this one alone today and get my other tools out before I ruin that. This is kind of a pretty piece. Hmm, it'll be right there. Now, and if you don't, you know, if you don't like rhinestones and you prefer other colors, just use, you know, use your imagination. Don't have to do the combination that I'm doing. Okay. Now, in, the, in that little bacon spots, I'm going to put some pearls. See how I filled that in? Anyway, I'll put in a couple more pieces and then I will close out this video and I don't want to keep it too long and make it boring for you. And let, leave uh, remarks in the comment. I appreciate that. If you have any ideas, maybe even, you know, something that better than what I'm doing. This is what we have so far. See if you can see that. And just visualize that the whole heart is going to be covered. Every little piece. And then my next video, I will show you the finishing part. And hope you got some ideas and would like to try this project. It's fun. I, like I said, made my lighted Christmas trees um, many, many years ago. And they take days and days and maybe weeks to finish. But I love doing them. It was great to really stress. And I used to set up my craft table. And after work, I would uh, sit down and put a few pieces in. And you, you look back at it and you think, oh, I can put a little bead in that spot and it just it's great it's great to release stress and if you love crafts this is an ideal project and remember you can use rabbits you can use hearts like I did you can use almost anything um, out of wood for your background so if you like my content please leave me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed I would appreciate you subscribing and I will do uh, a video a finished 
part video probably next week. And see you soon. Bye.